So Jonathan Morrison raves about HDR on the iPhones. He loves it. And you know what? I love it too. Here's why. So here's the thing. What is HDR? HDR stands for High Dynamic Range. This means that the highlights and the lowlights will be perfectly in sync and it means that the color grading in post-production will be significantly easier to do. So, HDR has 10-bit color. Your normal everyday camera uses 8-bit color and most professional cameras shoot in ProRes 422 10-bit. Now, what 10-bit means is there's a there's a two extra bits of color data which allows you to do so much more with the image. So if you're more comfortable with color grading or you're actually good at it or you know what you're doing with color grading, you can make it look great. I mean, this is 10-bit HDR coming straight out of my iPhone. And I love it, you know. It's not going to be quite as good looking in some aspects as my Canon AC-D and professional lighting kits because it does kind of, you know, it's, it's an iPhone. But the HDR really makes up for it. Now, the file sizes are bigger. And that does mean that you're going to need more storage when you're filming. But if you're careful with it and you manage it right, you can do it. I mean, I can film up to 10 videos just standing here on my iPhone in HDR. And this fine. Now, most people won't notice this. But the people that would do will appreciate it. HDR is a bit of a fragmented standard at the moment. You know, there's HDR 400, HDR 600, HDR 1000, and all that, and Dolby Vision as well. But when you get good HDR display, like the Pro display, or even the Studio display, which is technically rated for HDR workflows, as Jonathan Morrison has pointed out, and I think it is a good idea to really look at it. I mean, I'm editing this on a MacBook Air, so it's not going to be great in the line of HDRness. It's not going to get bright enough. Whatever it is, 600 nits is still 600 nits. Technically okay for HDR. I think this looks great, personally. I think this looks like any footage out of DSLR could. I mean, yeah, technically it's a bit more compressed, but overall, I really enjoy the whole look of it. I mean, 10 bit HDR is still 10 bit footage, and it's in 4K, so you can punch in whatever you want. But I think the future of video does lie in HDR capabilities. So I'm excited to see more phone companies embrace this feature on a phone. Because Apple's really the only one who's done it right. I'm really looking forward to seeing the future development of video on smartphones as well. Because, hey, it's exciting to have something this powerful in the palm of your hand. And I'm excited to see the development of this channel. And if you are too, hit the like button, subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Share the video with your family and friends. It really helps out the channel. I'll catch you next time. Peace.